Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She's a singer, songwriter, and author who's very public and controversial split from her now ex-husband and super producer, Swiss Beats. Put her on private life front and center. And in recent years, she's reconciled with her ex and taken what many would view as a traumatic situation and turned it into a new book, Blinn, The Secret to Co-Parenting and Creating Balance, a Balanced Family. She joins us now to share how she got on the path to healing and healthy co-parenting. Please welcome down to the circle, <laughs> Mashana T. Yes. Oh, you look beautiful. Amazing. You look so amazing. Much. So do you ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh. Sit on down and get on this purple <laughs> pillow, child. All right now. <clears throat> All right, Mashonda, we're yes. talking about blended families, and we're gonna get into your book a little bit later into this segment. But this is the holiday season. Yes. So now that things have changed for you as far as your family dynamic, so what do you guys do to celebrate the holiday season and what do you guys plan to do for this Christmas holiday? So this Christmas holiday is unique. It's a first for me because I will be without my little boy <gasps> for the first time ever. And um, you know, we have these conversations early on what, who's going to have the baby mm -hmm. or, you know, Look how we're going to split the here. day. Beautiful. Thank Beautiful. you. So uh, Alicia sent me a text and she said, you know, we're thinking about uh, going to Arizona this Christmas. And I was like, oh, okay. But I had him for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, in these moments as mothers, as parents, we have to remember it's not about us. Yes. You know, we have yes. to. Message. It's it's not about us. We have to just really put our children first mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. and their experiences. And with that, I was able to let go of my fears mm -hmm. and really just support him because I know that he wants to spend time with his brother. Yes. And yes. So he will yes. be in Arizona, and I'll be here in you know with my family and friends. Okay. <laughs> well, well, you get to go do your thing. Exactly. You exactly. Yes. 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 <laughs> so okay, Michanda, why this book? Why blend? We see a lot of families mm -hmm. that you know have this co-parenting situation, mm -hmm. especially uh, Will Smith, Jada Pinkett. Yes. You know, why this book? And did how much did Swiss and Alicia um, contribute to the content of this book? Mm -hmm. So I wrote this book because it's the book that I couldn't find when mm. I needed it. Oh, my you know? God. And I was going to bookstores, checking online, like, how do I do this? How do I create? My main thing was I wanted to figure out how to create a relationship with the woman that was taking care of my son. Mm -hmm. And mm. I couldn't find it. And so I, I just started turning all of my journals into a book form. Mm -hmm. And um, Blen came to life. Oh. And I, I came to Swiss and Alicia and I, I told them about the project because I felt that in order for it to be authentic, it couldn't only be my voice. Mm. That's right. You That's know, right. I needed their voices too because we're all blending together. Yeah. That's right. And they gracefully accepted and it, it was just a back and forth project for at least two years, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and um, turned and out she, perfect. And she wrote the forward she, to yes, the book. How did she, she did. How did you come about, how did she come about, well, how was that, um, how was that? How was, I can't think of the word, child. How did she come the into process? Yes. Process. yes. And, 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 and how, the process how like? did you get to the point where you were okay yes. enough in your relationship oh, to make yes. that come to fruition? Absolutely, so we definitely got to a point um, I'd say about six years in, mm -hmm. where we were flowing. I like to use the word flow because it's so natural, it's a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And um, I asked her, I said, would you like to write the forward? I think it's important for you to write the forward. Yeah. And um, she agreed. And Swiss wrote a chapter dedicated to fathers, which See, is super powerful. That's super dope too. Yes. Oh yeah, so dope. And he really went in and broke it down on how fathers have to start figuring out ways to embrace their children's mother, regardless mm -hmm. of where they are. And um, <clears throat> because it's not about the mom, it's really about the kids. It's about so. the child. Yes. And yes. so do you consider yourself a single parent? Because actually the <coughs> dynamic has changed. So has. Um, how, how do you consider this blended family now? Okay, so the single parent thing, you know, it. I don't, 
dislike it, but it's it's different for everyone. Mm -hmm. In yes. my case, I consider myself more of an independent parent. Mm -hmm. um, but they are so present, and I can reach out and ask for help and assistance at any time, so I don't feel single in it. Right. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I have to commend you for this book, because a person can be married and still be a single parent. Yes. Absolutely. You, can, you can still be a single mother, and you yes. can still be a single father while you are still married, because there's sometimes that one person who takes on most of the responsibility. Of so I yes. really commend you for being that voice yes. that people you. can't find in the bookstores. Yes. And Mashonda, we thank you so much for being here. We really enjoy having you here, and thank you can purchase you. Mashonda's new book, Blend, yes. The Secret to Co-Parenting, Creating a Balanced Family, Wherever Fine Books Are Sold. Thank and of you. course, the conversation continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Yay. Stay with us. <laughs> That's what we're going to go over to the table. Okay. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We wanted to continue our conversation with author, singer, and supermom, Mashonda T. Fair, and our sisters, Rashawn and Quad, are joining us now as well. Mashonda's new book, Blend, The Secret to Co-Parenting and Creating a Balanced Family, is filled with a number of tools mm -hmm. parents who are on the co-parenting journey can benefit from. We're going to break some of them down now, yes. and we're going to kick it off with my yes. homegirl to my left, Rashawn. Who that is? <laughs> yes. Rashawn, <laughs> all right. I'm going to take it from your left, and I'm going to direct it to my left. You got it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Shonda, you talked yes. about uh, being introspective in your book, mm -hmm. and the steps to going forward is working on yourself first. Yes. What did that work look like for you? That work looks very private. Mm. You know, you want to really step back from the world, from social media, from doing interviews. We, we had a very public divorce, yes. so, you know, ego will tell you, uh, speak out. Mm -hmm. You know, you want people to understand your side of the story. Mm -hmm. And you get caught up in just talking, talk, talking, 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 and it, it really doesn't benefit anyone. Mm -hmm. So um, I had to figure out that it was time for Mashonda to focus on Mashonda mm -hmm. mm. and really just heal. Mm -hmm. So much of it has to do with healing and yeah. doing the self-work. Yeah. Self How long yeah. was that process Hallelujah. for you? Or is, is it something that you continue to work on? Oh, it's an ongoing process. Mm -hmm. It's a lifestyle. But for me, in the very beginning, I took a solid year off to myself okay. and just really read books. You know, I watched a lot of uh, YouTube channels mm -hmm. on healing <laughs> and oh, wow. meditation. I did a lot of Pilates. Um, I did whatever I had to do. Yeah, so yeah that's let go. very key. Yes. Did whatever she had to do. Yeah. Definitely, because mm -hmm. you have to you have to try to find help from wherever you can get. Yes. Absolutely. You know, and you went through a very very public situation. Yes. You know, with your with your divorce and and then the blend of your family. I too went through a very public situation, yeah. and and even with my blend, how how did you? during and throughout that process, find your peace mm -hmm. and allow that peace to flow within you to allow you to even get to this point. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, good. So I think a very important topic and something that a lot of us should fo start focusing on is seeking therapy. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's somewhat a stigma in our community, our culture, that we shouldn't see a therapist or a psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. But it's actually very important. Mm -hmm. It's a part of the healing process. Mm -hmm. It's a part that. of the evolution. Yes. Um, and that was something that I did. Mm -hmm. And it helped. You know, it I'm even does. at a point where I'm taking my son. Yes. And we're going <laughs> together. I was going to ask you that, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it really does help you to see things from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. In your book, Michelle, you talk about parent buttons, right? Yes. You talk about being in tune with your children's feelings yes. and what they need. What did you do with your son, Kasim, to be able to identify when those buttons were being pushed? Mm. So in the book, I consider the child in the middle of everything, the nucleus child. Mm -hmm. And these little divine souls, they are really placed here to help us hmm. see ourselves. Ooh. God, I mean, and that's a nugget right there. there. That's a nugget it really, right there. It's, it's the it's the truth, you know. And so in order for that process to really have its, I guess, highest effect, we have to pay really close attention to those children. Yes. Yeah. Because they are feeling everything, probably more than we are. Mm -hmm. And you have to be able to connect with them on a deeper level. You know, give them mm -hmm. affirmation, um, give them the proper attention. And with, with the two of us, Kasim and myself, you know, after a pickup or a dro before a drop off, we would, I would just make sure that I had these intense one on one conversations mm -hmm. with him where it was like, I'm trying to get into his soul. And I wanted him to know that, you know, you're, we see you, we mm -hmm. see your pain, mm -hmm. we see your concerns. 
And I think as parents, sometimes we get so caught up in our own stuff. Sure. Oh, yes. God, yes. That yes. we forget that, you know, just because they're little, that they don't feel as much as we do. Right. And they really do. Right. They yeah. do. And, they and do. with that, it, I'm, I'm sorry, one second. How much information is too much information mm -hmm. to divulge to your child mm -hmm. when you're yes. going through a blended That's situation? Good. Yes. That's good. In so, your opinion. In my opinion, you want to be honest, mm -hmm. but you don't want to be negative. Mm -hmm. So hmm. there's a way to balance hmm. that. Hmm. And um, with, you know, I always made sure, because I didn't want to lie to him, because I want him to understand true human emotion. Mm -hmm. And But I never mm -hmm. talked badly about his father. Mm -hmm. I key, never talked key, badly yes. about Alicia. Yep. But I would let him know, you know, mommy's going through something right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And it's okay, it's natural, but I'm going to be okay. That's mm -hmm. real you know? good. And I love yes. you no matter what. Yes. That's yes. real yes. good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's real, real good. good. <laughs> three sons, two with my husband, and then um, one with, uh, from a previous marriage that my husband came into the relationship yes. with, whom I love very much. Mm -hmm. But I, I struggle with the mom and stepmom, and I know you talk about that in your book, you don't really like stepmom and stuff yeah. like that. And I feel, I, I don't really like stepmom yeah. either, but sometimes I feel like that it is, I don't want to disrespect the mother mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. taking that away from her mm -hmm. because she, it, yes. he has a mother. Yes. So yes. I, I take on that, that you know, um, title as stepmom or whatever the case may be, out of respect for her. Right. It, can you break down why you don't like the word, or not don't like, but why you don't use the word stepmom right. for people? So in, in the book, I, uh, I interview um, Swiss's grandmother, who is like the matriarch of our family, and she had a really good point. She said that the stepmom is used in a way where it's like a woman stepping in to take over the role. Mm -hmm. mm. And in our case, that wasn't, that wasn't the case. Right. And, and it's also not the case in your case. So right. we, we prefer bonus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you are coming in as a bonus mom, yes. as this extra person yes. to mm -hmm. give extra mm -hmm. love and extra care. Yes. Oh. And it shouldn't be looked at as some sort of, you know, Negative, right? Mm -hmm. And right. it feels negative. Like yeah. the word, it, like it, it just yeah. reminds me of like a mean. It's very Cinderella. It's very Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a very stigma yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you treat me like a stepchild. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. very Cinderella. It, 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 but I always, you know, took it on because mm -hmm. I just didn't know how to separate for her. It's yeah. Yeah. I never wanted her to feel like mm -hmm. he don't have a mother and I'm the new, you know, he yeah. has a right. mom. She came, he came out of her stump. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. It's definitely a conversation and I know for Alicia, she had an issue with stepmom as well. And because I co-parented with uh, Swiss's oldest son, I knew that the stepmom thing had a bad mm -hmm. feeling too. Mm -hmm. right. So I was very empathetic to her in that and she wanted our son to call her Umi which Aww. means mom in Arabic. Ooh. And at first, I was like, hmm, Omi, mom. And then I was like, you know, once again, this isn't all about me. You, right? Right, right, right. you know, I want her to feel comfortable, and yes. I want our son to feel comfortable, so you just have to. Because she has to protect him. Yeah, she yes. has to this protect so him. So so this is so, so cool. She has, and he has she's her driving baby. him to school, putting him to sleep, yes. so it's like, why not, you know? Yes. Gosh, cool. I'm so yeah. glad that you. Yes. Yes. Can we yes. give it up for Mashonda? This is amazing in your journey Thank you. and for being vulnerable Thank you because so much. your journey has less to do with you and more to do with other people. Yes. Yes. You are helping yes. so many people Thank with this. You so so much. thank you for doing the God thank work. You. This yes. is beautiful. Yes. You can please, I need you to pick up this amazing mm -hmm. book wherever mm -hmm. fine books are sold. That's right. This is a book with Mashonda, Swiss Beats, and Alicia Keys. Mm -hmm. Blend the secret to co-parenting and creating a balanced family. You can find that wherever fine books are sold. Yes.